cigars. You know, that's my hand and that's the, the cigar. Cigar tree. There's the inside where the seeds, there's some seeds from a rotted one. Where is it? Just got them right out of there. Curious slots. All the foliage from, or the uh, blossom drop from this one. So yeah, I was saying all in all, oh there's that bird. Wow, the beautiful tail. I probably didn't catch that on video. Uh, a large space with lots of plants that could be more well labeled. Sort of like I find in most botanic gardens. It'd be nice to have always more labeling and once you're done labeling, what do I smell? It smells like Smells like a uh, carob. It's probably these pods rotting. But yeah, so once you're done uh, creating all the the signage, uh, it's like time to replace the signs. So 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 create not only just creating them, but but mapping. There's like nothing interesting in there. It looks like it wants to be interesting. Uh, creating the signs, mapping where the plants are, and then of course they're gonna die and move around and new gardens get created by having some record of what you did and what the names are and what the idea and then they can replace them if they're if they happen to not be there any longer so there's like some kind of neat stuff it's like another oh it's the orchid house and it's definitely closed off it is a tuesday march 1st that's the orchidarium they just call the orchid house Oh, what is that? You probably saw that before I did. Iguana. So, uh, Iguana. That's quite the thing to discover eating your orchids. I don't see any vanilla orchids. Like, all these ones are like pretty and stuff, but like, can I have some vanilla? Man. Um, so yeah, that's the orchidarium with the stumps and the orchids, and I think with that we shall say hello. Thank you for coming on this exquisite journey through the Trinidad Royal Botanic Garden. Uh, if you need the restrooms, they are right behind us, and I will see you in previous and future videos.